Hello, James here. I'm once again here with Frank. Yeah. yeah, so, um, yeah, we're finally here to, to discuss the house of Frank's charity. He's the, he's, he cares about. So, uh, Frank, uh, what could you tell me about Children's Organ Transplant Association? Uh, Coda. Um, Children's Organ Transplant Association is a charity that, uh, they provide money to help uh, families of children who have uh, debilitating diseases reach their doctor's appointments and come back. Um, they help me because um, despite me being an adult, cystic fibrosis is a children's disease. So I, I applied for uh, their help and we did a, a big giant fundraiser where we uh, got a, a whole bunch of money, we donated it to CODA and that becomes like a, a a, a nest egg that they, they'll hold on to that we can tap into anytime we want. Um, so any travel expenses down, like I go to New York City, so um, the gas that, that gets covered from New York City, driving here to there, and then back, plus the lodging expenses and food that you eat along the way. You take it, you keep the receipts, when you get back, you fill out a form, you send it in, and they, they reimburse you all that money. So it doesn't cost you anything to go to your appointments if they're far away. Um, they'll help anybody who has, you know, if it's juvenile diabetes or uh, heart issues, um, other lung diseases, kidneys. It's, it's not just a cystic fibrosis thing, but anybody who has CF can definitely use CODA to uh, help pay for their, their transportation to uh, their appointments and back. They also ha may have a, um, a program which helps you uh, supplement, helping you buy your prescriptions, if you're if you're like your copays are still really high, they they can help you pay those as well. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, so let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. All right. So, you know, so there's Wings of Flight of Hope. Um, what could you tell me about that one? Uh, Wings of Flight of Hope. They are a charity here in the uh, <laughs> Buffalo area. Um, again, they're a, a service which helps with transportation to farther away places. Um, I used them when I had to get my transplant. Um, so that I, I had it pre-set up that whenever I got the call to get my transplant, I would go to them and they would fly me to New York City and get me to um, the hospital so that I could uh, get my transplant. Um, but they will also do appointments. Um, so you, you fill out their paperwork and get them all set and squared away. So they will let, they, you, what you do is there's a series of, of forms. One is for your doctor. Your doctor will fill out verifying, yes, he has an appointment on such and such a date. Then you fill one out saying, you know, here, this is where I need to go, this is the date, this is how many oxygen tanks, like for me it's oxygen tanks, um, uh, that you need to bring, I mean, all this information. And then they, 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 they fly you to wherever you need to go, whether it's you know, New York City, Boston, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, anywhere in, in this area, they'll, they'll fly you. Um, and it, say, it's not just for CF, it's for anybody who has diseases or, and, and inability to, to get, go far places. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, all right, yep, uh, okay. Sounds pretty neat. And, uh, alright, so, well, uh, how about Lockport Cares? Uh, Lockport Cares. That is a wonderful, wonderful uh, organization here in the city of Lockport. Um, it's a homeless shelter. Uh, we uh, have two houses. One of them right now is under renovation. But, um, what it, what it is, is, is we have uh, an intake line that if, if you're in need of, of uh, emergency shelter you call the number then they'll you know refer you to come to the shelter if you qualify and um, you get 10 days of uh, a stay which does not include weekends so it usually it ends up being about a full two weeks um, and we do your uh, you, when you're in, in there you have expedited uh, uh, services through DSS as far as um, like uh, section 8 and stuff like that um, we also help you with any paperwork you need to have 
for uh, if you have a, a need to get disability done or uh, food stamps, anything like that, we'll help you with that. We can't give you them, but we can help you with the paperwork. Um, and then while you're in the shelter, you have so it's a 10 days um, to which we have a, we, apartment listings for you to find apartments. Um, while you're there, we give you breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, every single day. Uh, we do your laundry for you. We just have a, a, a set of rules that you have to be back by a certain time. You can't smoke in the house, and you have to respect the, the, the volunteers and staff. It's really simple stuff, but the, um, the place is wonderful. Uh, I've, I worked there for quite a while, and as soon as I'm able to, I'll be going back to volunteer there. They are a, a, a fantastic organization. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. So, uh, yeah, I also noticed that on Facebook you also had listed Diamonds in the Rough Animal Rescue. Yeah, Diamonds in the Rough. Um, that's a, uh, they are a wonderful, wonderful group of people, most selfless people. Um, they, uh, they're, this is animal rescue, but they primarily do dogs. Um, and what they do is, is uh, fostering. They maybe have a, a whole bunch of people who have opened their homes to fostering dogs. Um, where we are right now, my, my friend, she did just fostering for quite a while. Um, they actually fell in love with one of her foster dogs and just decided to adopt him. He's out back. Um, but uh, the um, the goal of, of Diamonds in the Rough is to prevent the, the killing of, of these these dogs and so we can find them get them trained to live in houses and, and find new homes for them um, and we've had a lot of success a, a great deal of success um, a lot of these dogs are larger dogs like boxers pit bulls um, and there I have not met a single dog yet that isn't deserving of a home or is, is too too mean to be it's, it's these dogs are the most lovable, adorable things. And if you're thinking about adopting a dog or getting a dog, please come to Diamonds in the Rough. Uh, we'll, we will find a dog for you. Because um, we have so many lovable sweethearts of, of, of animals. Um, and if you want a cat, we have we have a cat house as well. Um, that's located here in Lockport. Uh, cats are, are, are a little easier to adopt because you don't have such a, a wide variety of, of sizes and so cats are a little easier to get people to adopt, but um, yeah, diamonds. We have charity events going on all the time, all across Western New York. Um, if you want to go on Facebook and look them up, uh, diamonds in the rough, uh, and they will. You'll see our, our most recent event coming up. We have key, like we have kiosks at, at you know pretty much every craft show. We'll have you know things set up at malls. We have you know all sorts of stuff and. and, and if you want to message any one of us on, on the, the page, uh, please feel free. So we, have, we, have, we have a dog for you if you want a dog. Okay, sounds pretty neat. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit, of a, a bit of a cat person. I, this was the first one I adopted. And <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I. Yeah, so like, yeah, I, I've adopted my pets from the ASPCA, um, and, uh... Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. The, SP, see, the SPCA is, is, uh, that's where I've gotten a lot of my animals from in the past, as well as the ASPCA. Um, and, say, all animals deserve a loving home. Um, and SPCA, you know, I've gotten plenty of, of my cats growing up from the SPCA, and... None of them were bad apples. <laughs> the only bad apples are the bad owners. Oh, yes. Very true. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, like uh, yeah, even if you, you've got pets, like, you can always also make time to donate to an animal shelter, preferably a local one, because those will help animals more. Very good point. Very good point, yes. Because, uh, yeah, you, like, diamonds in the rough, or, you know, not just animals, but like if you want to donate, if you have like extra stuff, Lockport Cares 
always takes donations of, of, of like uh, shampoos, um, deodorant, body, anything that's non perishable body stuff. We need uh, feminine products. Um, it, we have a whole bunch of, of, of things that we can always use. We can always use more towels, washcloths, um, anything like that. We like, the doctor cares. And, and um, just, or just go online and, 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 and look on Facebook. Check us out. Okay, hip, uh, it's pretty, yeah, like, yeah. I remember her, you said in the cystic fibrosis video, oh, that that we had made a while back that even though you got that run lung transplant, that uh, it's still a fight for you. So. Yep, yep. Let me say, if you watch that one and then you watch this one, you're going to notice a very big difference. I'm having this oxygen cord on me now. Uh, since the, between the two videos, I've had a uh, bit of a run-in with uh, poor health, and now I, I had to fight some uh, rejection and pneumonia, and it's kind of limited what I can do now. I used to be able to run and run around and play games and, and I was working. You couldn't tell I had a transplant. And now I'm kind of stuck on having oxygen. Um, walking around is a bit more difficult for me. But um, that's uh, that's life uh, with CF. You know, even even if you had your transplant, it's not a, a ticket to, you know, carte blanche, do what you want. You have to take care of yourself. And uh, I got a little a little too lax with that, I think. Uh, didn't pay attention to uh, things that could have got me sick, and I got sick. Yeah. It, um, well. Yeah. So. Yeah, that, that's kind of sad, but. Um, yeah. Well. Hopefully you get better in the. Yeah. So. Yeah. Here's a photo of Carrie um, during my last year of high school and. Well, it was her junior year. Anyway, um, yeah, it's her in the middle, and, yeah, like, close up, you can probably tell, like, that, uh, she had, had a bit of a face haze that she had to wear red and have those crossbones. That was just a face the last two years of high school, though. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm glad I got to show a picture of Carrie and of course I also have the archived video of her singing with Jennifer her um and uh yeah, that was the that one was pretty neat to find and let's see yeah yeah like and like I've said I'd probably say more about how Carrie like like in the event that I get to do a video with some other people in her, such as Chris. And, uh, and let's see now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just remembered him. Another thing we didn't mention about Sia F and in that video was that, that, uh, that people who have Sia should not, should, uh, should make sure they're safe distance from other people that like yeah like yeah you said something about like like uh like your rule of thumb for uh distance with cf frank yeah um it, it came known that that people with cf can transmit whatever bacteria they would have in their lungs to each other if they hung out too much which you know when you put us all in the hospital and we're sick together is going to happen so we had this rule of thumb that, you know, you, if I can stick my arm out and you can stick your arm out and touch each other, you're too close. Mm -hmm. So we would have to, we have to maintain a, con, a, a distance where we couldn't, neither of us could even touch each other. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the rule of thumb that even, even now is still a little outdated, but um, you, can't, you can't always prevent, you know, people from talking and seeing each other. But as a rule of thumb, if I know somebody has CF or has a lung issue, I follow that rule of, of, of maintaining two full arms lengths away. Hmm. Guess. Pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, there's been a lot of a uh, carrier that had, well, well, in some cases I couldn't remember, like, like, uh, yeah, that winch, um, there was also a dream catcher I 
That's the only thing I can remember I had actually gotten from her. Like, I did have gotten playing birthday cards and stuff from her, and when my graduation came around, and uh, she gave me a card with a check in it. Um, I um, wasn't sure if I was ready to mention this before, but um, yeah, Carrie actually got me hooked up for homecoming, and that's her. Yep. Yeah. You're, 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 the phone wasn't getting the, the picture. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, that's her. Her name is Rebecca. And, yeah. I, yeah. Second longest relationship I ever had. And, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It shows that Kara's pretty good with matching people up. Although, <laughs> oh, that girl did take advantage of the fact that I had never had a serious relationship prior to that <laughs> although I don't blame that on Carrie at all though so yeah but uh yeah and just said show her and yeah so uh it's Frank uh, anything else you could probably say about CF or uh um not that we didn't cover in the last video or this one and if anything comes up we you know can't think of Nothing saying we can't make a third video. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Well, looks good. Um. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah. You know. I never really knew Carrie to travel much. Um. Yeah. I'm guessing her cystic fibrosis may have had some to do with that. Uh. uh potentially. I mean, it depends on, on what's, what, how, how bad she was when. Like, when I was younger, and it wasn't, like, terrible on me, I traveled to Maine and, and Massachusetts and stuff like that just fine. Um, even going to my uh, doctor's appointments to set up my transplant down in New York, I had no problem traveling. I, that might have just been a, a, her thing or her family just wasn't a traveling group. Um, once, once I got, I got too sick, absolutely. Um, say once, once you're on oxygen... It makes it real hard to, to travel places. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I remember that that we did get to uh, take that that three day cruise, cruise to the Bahamas, and yeah, uh, yeah. that would be much more difficult if we had uh, to bring oxygen along. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so. Let's see now. Yeah. Even then, it is it is still doable. Um, I mean, right now I'm using uh, portable tanks, but if I get a portable concentrator that can plug into it a, a car a cigarette lighter uh -huh. to charge, there's nothing saying I can't take a road trip. Hmm. I would just you know as long as I have the the, the power to, to run the concentrator, it can still happen. Um, because, you know, I've, I've been still planning several vacations where, you know, I have to go places. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not the kind of person to let something like, like me being on oxygen stop me from enjoying my life. Uh, it's going to make things a little harder, but I still enjoy them. Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. That sounds good. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I never mentioned this in... In that other video, but uh, yeah, Carrie had also run that mechanical bull uh, at the Harry County <clears throat> Fair, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually mentioned it to Frank this one time that we were hanging out in this this uh, casino with with a buffet in Niagara Falls called Santa Niagara Resort and Casino. If you're ever in the area, come uh, go ahead and look it up. Uh, it's actually not far from the state park, and uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Frank said that, that uh, yeah, that blood must have built up in her lungs while she was riding it, and yeah, considering that had a that was over the same air inflated material as a bounce house, um, seems safe to say because she did end up coughing up blood. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean like that that kind of motion, that up and down, back and forth motion. Um, when you but when you have all that stuff in your lungs, it's gonna slide around, move around. And that's gonna cause a coughing fit. And when you cough a lot and hard, 
you're gonna um, rupture uh, blood vessels inside the lungs, and that's where the blood comes from. Because um, I've been there. I've done. I mean, I've never done the the bull or anything, but um, that kind of, of of cough attack, I remember all too well. That it just takes your, all your the air out of you, and you're just coughing and coughing, and it hurts, and it, your muscles get so tired. It is not fun. It is the opposite of anything you ever want to do. It is so bad. Hmm. I mean, that's, that's where I'm at now. I, I feel like crap a lot of times, but I'm thankful I don't have to do all the coughing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, based on the fact that you said that you generally go to New York City, uh, yeah, I've, I've actually gone there once myself for this thing called the People's Climate March, and let's see. Yeah, I, well, I didn't go, like, right up to any major buildings, but I did walk through Central Park, and, uh, I did see the Empire State Building in the distance. It's hard to miss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite true. <laughs> Same with, uh, Trump Tower and, and the Chrysler Building. Those are pretty hard to, hard to miss. <laughs> um, depending on when you were there, um, whether it was before... 2011, you, you couldn't miss the Twin Towers, or 2001. Um, since then, if you've been there since Freedom Tower went up, that thing is beautiful. <laughs> I, I remember I was, uh, this last time I was uh, down there, I looked across the, um, or down the Hudson as we were crossing the, uh, uh, the bridge, the George Washington Bridge, and I, I looked down and I, it was a nice, very rare crystal clear day for New York City. And I just saw Freedom Tower, you know, shining above uh, the South uh, Manhattan, and it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I, I think that's all for this video, and uh, yeah, I, I thank Frank for joining, and uh, yep. yeah. So I and uh, it also mentioned his friend Jessica. Well. Those are photos for there. Uh, right here, girl with glasses and uh, yep. <laughs> and her dogs. Yep. Oh yeah, Sandra dogs. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I've been a dog person. Yep. All right. So yeah, that's all for today. And uh, yeah, I hope y'all got something out of this.